Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to teach you how to make Fastascus ingots and the process that comes with it. Now what you want to do is make sure you've got plenty of charcoal. That's definitely something that you're going to need. You're going to want repair kits as well because the process will burn through your bloomeries really really quickly. Now what you want to start off first with is you're going to need gold, silver, copper and steel. The steel you want into steel bars, copper bars, lumps of gold, lumps of silver. Now to make one Fastascus ingot it will cost you 120 lumps of silver, 120 steel bars, 120 copper bars and 60 lumps of gold. You can heat that up and that will then process into this irregular alloy. Now I'm in GM mode so it will be a little bit fast so we'll throw this in. Now the normal process is you turn on your bloomery and you get it up to the 2000 degrees and you wait for the process to cook up and heat up like that. From here you can then pull out irregular alloy. Now we've already pulled out irregular alloy so I'm not going to process that because that's going to blow my bloomery. Yes I have repair kits but we'll skip the pulling out process. Now from here you can put your irregular alloy in and turn on. Now. I'm in GM mode so the process once I hit this it's going to automatically heat it straight up but the process is you want to go heat it to 2000 degrees and then once you're at 2000 degrees your little bar will start to come along. Once it hits red, it won't process any further. So what you need to do is allow your bloomery to cool, cool down in temperature to 500. Now there is a fast way that you can do it is by creating a bunch of objects, tools, anything like that that you can throw in there in amounts that it's going to quickly cool it down. So we'll throw in a bunch of these to see how quickly we can cool it down. Now obviously as you can see everything's jumping. Now of course you can place in and pull it out again. It doesn't matter how you plan to do it. Either way you want to cool that down as quickly as possible. Now I'll take it you get the drift off it. So once it's down to 500, you'll wait and the cast bar will start again. Once it starts going, it will hit red. Once it hits red, you want to heat it back up to 2000. And you need to repeat this process four times until this is fully heated up. Once it's fully heated up, then you can smelt and you'll pull out your Fastascus bar. Now you'll need five bars to make an ingot. Thank you for watching.